start late, so um, I'm calling an audible and deciding that um, we get to spend a few extra minutes together. Um, and uh, uh, I would love to take a couple of questions from the audience if anyone has them. Assuming I can actually see you on the glare of the lights. Oh, I can see you. <laughs> I, I I did. So I had this crazy I had this crazy idea um, before I came out here. I have a lot of crazy ideas. Um, some of them are just crazy, some of them get up upgraded to awesome, um, and a very few of them actually manage to, to make the journey to crazy awesome. <laughs> the result of this idea has yet to be determined. Um, I wanted to test the theory that you cannot have too many dice. <laughs> You go to a con and you're like, ooh, dice, I'm gonna buy some. <laughs> you really only need 10 dice. <laughs> I said, me. there's a difference, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just be honest with each other. It's a roll bad for the other um, So, I mean, and I know it, sometimes we have to set dice on fire because they're evil. Uh, <laughs> or like you're playing a world like D&D game day and some jerk doesn't get his hand out of the way in time and touches it and contaminates it forever. <laughs> But I thought that it was really fun. I thought, you know, I'm probably going to meet a lot of people at Gen Con. So I went to my blog, and I went to the Twitter, and I said, uh, I would like to test this theory. If you see me at Gen Con, and you have one die, a gaming die, that you would, you know, be willing to part with, I would love to, I see some of you read my blog. <laughs> I, would, I, would love to, I would love to accept that, that die. Um, and I thought, I might get like 100 dice before the, before the game. <laughs> That's what everybody says when I say this. So um, I have a I have a jar <laughs> at my at my table, um, and uh, what's great is that I'm getting dice, and people are telling me like there's a story that goes with these particular dice. A guy came over to me in the lobby of my hotel this morning. He said my friends got married, and uh, one of them is from Chicago, one of them is from Tennessee, and. Uh, they uh, gave out to everybody who came to the wedding uh, dice because they're gamers. So they got uh, the guys. For, so they gave out blue dice and gray dice because it was the north versus the south. Oh. I was like, yes. <laughs> but what's great is they're those beautiful, like kind of like pearlescent chessex dice. So they're uh, they're they're primarily blue with a little bit of gray, and primarily gray with a little bit of blue. So there's like this wonderful symbolism of them kind of coming together. And I know it's not great. Um, and, and, so uh, I have those in my bag. So um, even if your dice don't have a story, make one up. <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm actually uh, I'm, a, I'm around the entire weekend, and the best way to, to, to do it is to just go. Oh, by the way, here's here's dice, um, but not now. Um, uh, better to, to come to my table. And I keep pointing that way. I think it's that way. My brain tells it's that it's way. That way. Yeah, see, so it turns out that my class feature is um, that I, I never get lost in a really good sense of direction. <laughs> um, so uh, please, uh, please bring them to me. It'll be awesome. And then, I, and then I have this idea to like put them all together and take a picture of them. Um, wow. And there's a little bit of an ulterior motive. This guy uh, on Reddit uh, a few months ago was like, I have a lot of dice. Here's a picture of them. And it was like 30 dice. And I was like, oh, wow, really? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. Whatever your wife's been telling you, that's not how it works. <laughs> I hate to be the one that has to break that. <laughs> oh, 7,000 karma. Great. Okay. Um, so I said, I'll take a picture of my dice. And uh, then I never did. So um, I actually thought, I'm going to take a picture of all my dice. It would be great. <laughs> So, um, my friend Joel draws this wonderful webcomic called Hijinks and Sue, and, uh, and, and, and uh, these people on Twitter were sort of like giving me crap about it. They were like, you're going to be buried under a mountain of dice. And I, I said to him, so then Joel was like, said something about that, and I said, I think you have to make a comment of that, of me being buried under a mountain of dice. Um, and then uh, somebody else on, on Twitter said to Joel, you should draw a picture of Will diving into a mountain of dice, Scrooge and Duck style. <laughs>
it's hilarious. I'm in like my giant, I'm, I'm in my tower. <laughs> Me and Kyle up there in our tower. And, uh, um, and it's, I'm glad somebody got that. <laughs> and, cause he touched my fucking schnitzel. <laughs> so we're up in the tower, and, uh, uh the tower is, uh, and it says, don't be a dick in ASCII on the side of the tower. <laughs> which is so strange. Uh, and then inside is me, and I'm just like diving on <laughs> Like the guy from, from Mousetrap. <laughs> so Joel gave me a high-res file, and I made some prints, so I brought 50 of them. So, uh, uh, yeah, so, um, I have those with me also. So anyway, that's a very long way of saying, um, you can do that. Or since you're in the front row, you can just give it to me. <laughs> but only not. <laughs>
was that because like um, I was involved, it was very important to me that there was at least some internal logic to the rules we made up <laughs> for the fake game that we're actually playing. <laughs> so I can't play it again, you know, there's only, it's very clear that there's only however many things in the game, or whatever. Um, and uh, I've, I've actually talked to, uh, uh, talked to Warner's extensively. It's like, really, let's make a Mystic Warner's of Comic Con. Yeah. Yeah. And they were like, uh, we're very busy not talking to you right now. <laughs> well, if you want to do it, I know a guy. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. You what? Crushers t-shirts. <laughs> Wait, that's, so is it the Wesley Crushers or the Wesley Crushers? <laughs> it's the Wesley Crushers. Are you even listening to yourself? It's the Wesley Crushers. Wesley Crushers. The important thing is you need your team after me. I love wanted me to deliver this message to you. <laughs> a lot of people have given Evil Will Wheaton a pretty bad time for breaking up Leonard and Penny. I think that a lot of people, I'm sorry, Evil Will Wheaton thinks that a lot of people are missing a larger and more important point. Evil Will Wheaton won at bowling. <laughs> So, focus, people. <laughs> You're holding something up. What is that? Oh, it's for me. That's rad. Okay, so it's, um, it's a t-shirt for Evil Will Wheaton and Good Will Wheaton. You see? The <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. Um, I feel like I'm going really long. Is there somebody from Gen Con to tell me that I need to leave? No. 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 I will take, hey, look, I'm, I'm sorry, I know there's more of us than them. Uh, there, are, there are other panels and it sucks to make the whole day run long, so I'll take one more question and then I'm going uh, to run out of here.